Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about a lipid profile test. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So lipid profile tests are done to estimate the increased risk of cardiovascular disease. The lipid panel tests include a measurement of total serum cholesterol, serum triglycerides, HDL cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. The total serum cholesterol can be measured using enzymatic method. In this method, cholesterol oxidase, uh, cholesterol ester hydrolase will convert cholesterol ester to cholesterol and fatty acids and cholesterol oxidase converts cholesterol to ketone derivative of cholesterol and the peroxidase enzyme uh, will convert the hydrogen peroxide generated in the previous step along with the presence of uh, phenol and uh, 4 amino antipyrin gives a colored compound and this can be directly measured. The color development is directly proportional to the amount of cholesterol present in the serum. So the normal range for a total serum cholesterol uh, is 150 to 270 milligram per deciliter. Uh, in certain cases, uh, the uh, amount of uh, total cholesterol uh, is elevated or decreased due to certain conditions. So the concentration uh, may show elevated in, in, in cases of hypothyroidism and diabetes and uh, nephrotic syndromes and uh, other conditions. Whereas the total concentration is uh, decreased in the case of uh, hyperthyroidism, hepatocellular disease and another other genetic defects. So the serum tri triglycerides, uh, this can also be measured by enzymatic method. In this, lipase converts uh, triglyceride to glycerol and fatty acids and the glycerol gets converted to glycerol phosphate by the enzyme glycerol kinase and the glycerol phosphate oxidase converts uh, glycerol phosphate to dihydroxy acetone and hydrogen peroxide and this can be quantified. The normal range for uh, serum triglyceride uh, is between 40 to 145 mg per deciliter. Uh, the level of serum triglyceride can also be elevated or decreased due to uh, various conditions. Uh, the concentration can be increased in certain conditions like uh, hypothyroidism, nephrotic syndrome, alcoholism, obstructive liver disease, etc. And the uh, triglyceride concentration can be reduced in certain rare disease conditions. Uh, next come to the uh, coming to the HDL cholesterol or the high density lipoprotein cholesterol and this is known as the good cholesterol because uh, this helps to remove other forms of cholesterol from the bloodstream. The normal range for HDL cholesterol is between 30 to 60 milligram per deciliter. The higher HDL cholesterol concentration may be associated with decreased risk of coronary artery disease meaning that if you have a high level of uh, HDL cholesterol, this is a very good for the body. That means you are in a very less risk for developing coronary disease. The HDL cholesterol level above 60 mg per uh, deciliter indicate very low risk. And whereas the HDL uh, cholesterol level below 35 mg per deciliter increases the risk for uh, coronary artery disease. And the, uh, the, uh, the risk for coronary heart disease can be uh, much more accurately defined using the ratio of total cholesterol to the HDL cholesterol. In certain uh, uh, cases, the HDL level uh, goes down when there is a stress, obesity and other habits like a cigarette smoking. So in uh, these conditions, the level of the uh, HDL cholesterol can go down. Coming to the LDL cholesterol, LDL cholesterol is uh, often called as the bad cholesterol because it collects in the walls of the blood vessel. That means it goes and sticks to the uh, blood, vessels, uh, blood vessels and causing the narrowing of the of the uh, walls of the blood vessels. And this uh, the uh, causing the narrowing of the uh, blood vessels results in the increased blood pressure. And this can raise uh, chances of health problem like heart attack and stroke. So the blood pressure uh, increases when the LDL cholesterol uh, goes and binds to the walls of that and uh, that causes the narrowing of the blood vessels. The normal range for LDL cholesterol is uh, less than 130 mg per deciliter. Actually the optimum level is uh, less than 100 mg per deciliter and the, uh, uh, the uh, near optimal uh, range is uh, 130 mg per deciliter, less than 130 mg per deciliter. 
LDL cholesterol can be calculated from total cholesterol and the triglycerides. So total cholesterol minus HDL cholesterol plus 1 by 5 into triglyceride gives the LDL cholesterol. The values uh, of below 130 mg per ml uh, mg per deciliter are, uh, are on the safer side whereas the values of uh, value between 130 to 160 mg per deciliter of uh, ldl um, are in the borderline risk and the values above 160 mg per deciliter indicates very high risk in summary the total serum cholesterol uh, normally should be less than 200 uh, mg per deciliter uh, anything between 200 to 240 is considered as uh, borderline high and anything about 240 mg per deciliter indicates very high risk for heart disease. Uh, coming to the serum triglycerides, the normal uh, range is less than uh, 150 uh, mg per deciliter. Uh, 150 to 199 mg per deciliter indicates uh, borderline high risk and anything about 200 mg per deciliter indicates high risk. Coming to the serum LDL cholesterol, the optimal range of LDL cholesterol in normal uh, cases is less than 100 mg per deciliter. Uh, one less than 130 mg per uh, deciliter indicates uh, near optimal uh, concentration. Anything between 130 to 159 indicates uh, borderline high and anything above 160 mg per deciliter indicates high risk for heart disease. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.